Hey everybody, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. How y'all doing? I hope you're having an amazing week. I hope you have some exciting things to look forward to. First thing we're going to talk about is the sun sign, the moon sign, and the rising sign because that is a predominant question that is always asked, okay? Sun sign, moon sign, rising sign. Your sun sign is your identity. It is. It defines I am, okay? I am. What am I? I am my sun sign, whatever that is for you. I'm a Taurus, right? So my personality, this, the, your sun sign is the positioning of the sun on the day that you were born, the planetary positioning in the whole zodiac thing. And I am not an astrologer by any stretch of the imagination. Okay. Um, but your sun sign is, is, is your personality. Okay. The sun was shining on you ah, on the day that you were born. And that is who you are. Okay. So as a Taurus, um, my personality, my sun sign is the Taurus, right? It, it comes out strong and clear as a Taurus. I am, um, extremely, um, concerned with my personal security. I am extremely loyal. I'm extremely loyal to a detriment, mind you. Um, I am, I'm all about the family, the family unit. I am the protector. I am the matriarch. I am Taurus the bull, right? Okay. So when information comes into me, I process that information as a Taurus because that's my sun sign, my horoscope sign, okay? I process it as a Taurus internally, instinctively, subconsciously. It just clicks, right? I don't even have to think about it. I just process it as a Taurus. Information comes in and I'm like, who, what, where, when, and why does this affect my security, right? How does this affect my money? How does this affect my family? How does this affect the person, the people that are in my inner circle that I will go to the mat for? How does this affect my existence in the realm of security? That's what's processed with my sun sign. Okay. So it goes from my sun sign into my moon sign. My moon sign is about my feelings. Okay. Your moon sign, hence the moon, right? The gravitational forces, the tides, the water, water energy, right? I mean, the moon card in the tarot is water energy. It's, it's about your subconscious mind, your intuition, and how you process the things that your sun sign has brought into your life. Okay. Has allowed inside here, right? So as a Pisces moon, I process my feelings about what has come into me that has been filtered with my sun sign. I process everything inside of me in my feelings as a Pisces, right? Who, 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 who could possibly get hurt by this? I don't want to hurt anybody, right? How does this, how does this help everybody around me? How does this make everybody happy? How does this make things easier for everybody concerned? Is anybody going to get their feelings hurt? Is anybody going to be angry about this? Um, the whole sweet Pisces thing, right? Pisces people are extremely sweet. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, the water energies, they're just very sweet people. So my feelings process my Taurus with Pisces, okay? And then your ascending sign is where the sun was on the eastern horizon when you were born. That's why you have to have your time of birth to understand your, your ascending sign, your rising sign. Get it? Ascending, rising, it's the same thing. It's interchangeable, okay? So your ascending sign or your rising sign this is the way you put information back out into the world, okay? So you bring it in as your sun sign, process it as your moon sign, and then you spit it back out as your rising sign, okay? Um, my rising sign happens to be Pisces. I'm a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, Pisces Venus, right? I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> If it wasn't for the Taurus, I would just be a doormat, right? <laughs> but the Taurus, the Taurus, it's the, and, and I'm lucky that that's my sun sign because that's the gatekeeper, right? That Taurus mentality, that Taurus personality is the gatekeeper. 
right? And whatever's let in is processed by the Pisces moon. And for my situation, it's also spit out from the perspective of a Pisces, right? Um, it's mixed together with the Taurus and the Pisces, and then it's spit out from a Pisces, right? Very polite, very kind, um, my communication, I don't want to hurt anybody, but I also have the Taurus, right? Which, which makes me have, makes me have game face, right? Um, let's just use a different example. If I was Taurus sun, okay, bring thing in, bring things in as a Taurus, process it, security, 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 oop, jeopardizes my security, gone. Security, 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 oop, jeopardizes my security, blocked, right? And then let's say I am an, an Aries moon, okay? I would process my feelings as an Aries. Um, how does this help me achieve? How does this help me conquer? How does this affect my success? How does this help everybody around me achieve and succeed? What is the end game? What's the plan, right? As in Aries. And then if I spit it out, let's say as a Gemini, okay? Gemini, the queen of swords is her is the card of Gemini, okay? The, the, the Gemini is an, an air sign, right? Aries is the fire, Gemini is an air sign. If I spit it out as a Gemini, if that was my ascending sign, I would take from the Taurus, down into the Aries and out as a Gemini. And I would make sure that everybody understands the who, what, where, when, and why. I would make sure that everybody has absolute mental clarity, what's expected of them, what's expected in the situation, the behaviors that will and will not be accepted, and the, um, the, 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 the processes of everything, right? Processes, the mental processes, the who, what, where, when, and why, right? From, from the perspective of an air energy. Understand that? I hope I made myself clear. And, you know, if you want to get like really funky here, if you are familiar with Dr. Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis, um, it's the id, the ego, and the superego, right? The id, I'm sorry, the, your sun sign would be your id, your rising sign would be your ego, and your moon sign would be your superego. So if that helps anybody put it together, there you go. Anyhow, okay, so that is your sun, moon, and rising sign explanation from a not an astrologer person, um, but nevertheless, that's how it that's how it works, right? And then of course, your Venus is how you give and receive love. So why is this even important? Why does why? Well, number one, when it comes to um, watching general um, tarot card readings on YouTube, if you watch your sun sign, right? If I watch Taurus, it's going to be about how I am receiving what's going on in that tarot card reading. If I watch a Pisces reading, that's going to be how I feel, okay? And if I watch, well, Pisces, I'm rising, uh, let's say if I watch a, a Gemini, right? Because I'm Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. So we're using Gemini as an example. So if I was a Gemini rising and I was watching general Gemini tarot card readings, um, that is how I am putting out information, okay? that's Those are the personality traits that I am communicating with, okay? How does this help? every other aspect of your life. Well, if you're cross-watching and you're cross-watching your for somebody that has a an Aquarius moon sign, right? If you're watching for somebody that has an Aquarius moon sign, when you're watching those Aquarius readings, that's how they feel, okay? If you're watching for somebody that has an Aquarius sun sign, that's how they're receiving. And if you're watching for somebody that has an Aquarius um, ascending sign, the Aquarius personality traits is how they are communicating. And it's super important to understand these as well. And the Venus, right? If, you, if you're looking at the Venus signs of people, if you have, if you're cross watching for somebody that has an Aquarius in their V, that has Aquarius in their Venus, then the Aquarius personality traits is how they're going to give you love 
And it's also how they're going to receive love from you. So how does this help you? It helps you in your job. It helps you with your children. It helps you in your relationships with your spouse, with your mother, with your father, with your siblings. If you can understand their sun sign, their moon sign, their rising sign, and their Venus sign, then that helps you as the more enlightened person to be able to communicate effectively with those people. For instance, um, my daughter is an Aquarius sun with a Scorpio moon, right? So as an Aquarius sun sign, I understand that if there's something that I want to get through to my daughter, I have to adjust my Pisces way of putting things out with my ascending sign, right? Because remember, your ascending sign is how you put it out to the world. So when I communicate with her and I want her to understand something super important, I adjust my communication, take the Pisces out of it and understand that she's going to receive information as an Aquarius. So I tailor my communication from an Aquarius perspective, right? If I, there's something I want her to grab onto, I mean, the star card, hope, faith, purpose, renewal, and spirituality. If there's something I want her to grab onto, I tailor my communication to be Aquarian. And therefore, when I relay the information to her, she grabs it like a sponge, right? Right? Um, same with her moon sign, Scorpio. If we're talking about feelings, right? Okay. So her moon sign, Scorpio, right? If I want to communicate something to her in the realm of feelings, particularly if I want her to swing in my direction, right? I will communicate to her from the perspective of a Scorpio personality and, and let her process my communication in her feelings be, as a Scorpio because I've put it forward as a Scorpio. And there's all kinds of things on the internet where you can do, um, you know, zodiac personality traits and stuff like that, right? So, you know, look up the personality traits of the person that you're looking for to speak with or that you want to receive your information and understand how they communicate, right? That's a part of being like a mature person is understanding how other people give and receive communication. And that will make your relationships so much better. And it will help you to cross watch yourself and other people on YouTube Tarot your your chart right you can pull your chop your chart up at uh, cafeastrology.com there's a link in the description box below i am not affiliated or associated with these folks in any way whatsoever i just really like the format of the chart that they spit out you enter your birth information and then they spit your chart out right and if you're into all of that astrology stuff that doesn't make any sense to me all the diagrams and all of this and all of that makes no sense to me at all but if you scroll down um, it will give you a brief a brief synopsis of what of your personality traits in each house of the zodiac that you are positioned in. That's the best I can explain it, right? And you can understand a lot about other people. You can understand a lot about yourself. And there's also a little link where you can put somebody else's information in and it will spit out a compatibility chart. It's freaking awesome. It is. You can do it for, for your boss. You can do it for your kids. You can do it for your love interest. It's super interesting to learn how other people give and receive communication and it gives you a leg up, it gives you leverage, it gives you an advantage to, um, to communicating with somebody in the way that they um, give and receive, okay?